Uh, welcome back to Let's Play Twilight Princess with me, Swift. Right, as we're doing the last part, we're going to continue hunting these bugs. Make your way across there, and no bugs here. Yeah, no bugs here. Okay, onwards! <coughs> right, more jumping. I look out for the enemies here. Yeah, okay, and there we go, bugs here. Wait! Right. Come on down. You can use your beam on these as well. So feel free to use that. And look. I think that's it here. Yeah, just three. Okay, once again. I mash here, all the enemies will hit you. Ah, not too much sure that'll happen. <laughs> right, again, mash here. Right, this bit you need to time it. Obviously, when that's to one side. <laughs> and let's get in mash. And we're across. And these books are underground, so. Find where they are. And dig. There we go. Wait till they stop sparking. And attack. Ah! Stay still! Do it! Fuck! Ah! Got it. Wee. More tears! Alright, two tears left. If you've got more than two tears left, you've missed one. Oh boy, more of these guys. Right, kill the one on his own first. And then go for these two without together. There we go. Okay, that's this place done. And what the hell? What the hell is a bridge doing here? Okay, that's just weird. There's a shot, but can't really use it. Don't really need to, though, either. Onwards! <coughs> huh? Off the queers. And there we go. It's running away. So, someone help me. Bye, that gave me ever since the boss went funny in the head, there have been scary monsters everywhere. Those village kids got led through the woods for some reason. The whole forest is so weird now, what's happened? Okay, let's get this final tear. <laughs> And I'm glowing! The vessel of light is full of tears and light has returned to this area. Yay! Ah, oh, but it was so nice here in the twilight. What's so great about a world of li world of light anyway? Can't see you later. Spirit A Bush Baby Bush Baby is it? Scorpion Bush Baby My name is Fal. I am one of the spirits who is a light of light who dwell in Hyrule. By the order of the gods I protect this forest. Oh brave youth. 
In the land covered in twilight where people roam as spirits, you were transformed into a blue-eyed beast. That was a sign. It was a sign that the powers of the Chosen One rest within you and that they are awakening. Look at your awakened form. Where the hell did I get these clothes from? The green tunic that is your garb once belonged to the ancient hero chosen by the gods. His power is yours. His is the true power that slept within you. Your name is Swift. You are the hero chosen by the gods. dark power rests in the temple deep within these woods. It is a forbidden power. Long, long ago, I and the other spirits of light locked it away. Because of its nature, it has a power that should never be touched by any who dwell in the light. But this world weeps beneath a mantle of shadows, and so there is no choice. You must match the power of the king of shadows. So, it's pretty much the old fight fire with fire routine. If you would seek this forbidden power, then proceed to the temple in the forest depths. <coughs> yeah, about the whole Swift thing. Whenever I'm playing a game, I usually stick with the default names, but ever since I started doing the Let's Plays, I've always used like Swift. Mo mostly because it kind of fits the Let's Play, and plus people know it is actually me playing. Plus I record live, so it's more fun as well. Because <laughs> you may be taught as I play. Well, well, you're the chosen hero and all that, huh? So that's why you turn into that beast. What a shame. I mean, maybe you'd rather just wander as a spirit like the rest of them, totally unaware of what happens for all eternity, right? <laughs> so what do you want to do? Do you want to head to that temple? Well, isn't that convenient? I was about to head there myself. Hey, look, you want to help your friends, right? Wait, I see it. Maybe they're in that temple waiting for you to rescue them. Well, good luck, Mr. Important Hero. You ain't see you later. Back to my shadow. Oh, if Midna wants to say something to you, that thing will flash up. At the bottom of the screen. You can go back to the village and talk to everyone, but there's not po no point in doing it. But if you feel like it, just go back and talk. Huh? So, it's the Ordonian. You seem familiar, but then your clothes seem kind of different, so I got thrown off for a second. Listen, things have been a little rough around here lately, so you should watch your step, okay, guy? There's so many monsters now, I kind of, I got kind of scared and closed up. Back to the temple, so I was yawning then. <laughs> but you guy, you want to get back there, huh? You sure do look good up for it, so here you go. You got a small key! Oh yeah, the woods on the other side of this cave are covered in really thick fog, so make sure your lantern's full. You're definitely gonna need to use your lantern light in there, so bring all the oil you can. And check this out, I have a special one-time offer of a bottle full of lantern oil for 100 rupees. How about it, guy? What a bargain. If you've got 100 rupees, buy it. <laughs> Strongly recommend it, because you get your second bottle. You can put all kinds of stuff in the, the bottle once you use the oil inside, guy. And hey, keep using that lantern so you come back and buy more oil, okay, guy? Like that, we now have two bottles, a half a bottle of milk and a bottle of lantern oil. And also the bottle of lantern oil helps in a bit, which I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ruin but we do need it. <laughs> well it helps, don't need but helps. Or do actually I think we do need it. Yeah we do. Oh well it's either that or we have to backtrack a bit. Let's make your way through this cave, which is strangely darker in the light room than it is in Twilight. I don't need a light source, I can run through it. And break a few bones and nose and whatever. Yay, light! Whoa! Okay, I don't remember this smog being here before. Maybe we should... I've got an idea. A lantern to light your way! Here we go. Yeah, just stand on the pier and activate your lion. Lantern. Lion. <laughs> hey, that's my lantern! It's dispelling fog. Happy 
Oh. Hey, what's this monkey's problem? <laughs> you idiot, while you were staring off into Dreamland, your land got stolen. Oh, wait. Uh, anyway, this looks like a good cutoff point, so see you next part where we follow the monkey.